In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a boundary and then drop a pattern into it that will change it to fit into that shape. This icon here is the boundaries icon, but before we use that, it's important that you go into options and set it the way you want it to be. If you want the pattern to morph to fit into the box, then you need to select that. If you want it to maintain ratio, then you would check that. If you want to have a margin so that when you create your boundary, your pattern will be um, a, a specific distance away from the edge of the block, then you set that here. And you may want it to be 0.3, and that will be set. I'll say accept. Now what I do is create a boundary, and I touch this icon here, and I can do it with a mouse or a sew head. It's very, very useful to be able to use the sew head, so I'm going to select that. And then I would click around my block on my actual quilt with the sew head. So I'll say add a point. I'll move to the next corner of the block and say add a point. Move to the next corner of the block and say add a point. I've added three. Now I will add the fourth point. And then when I say done, it will close up the block. Now, please note in the instructions it says click four points uh, to create the block. This tool works on a rectangle or a square, um, a, a shape with four points. It will not work on a triangle at this point. So make sure that you follow the instructions there. I'm going to say accept. Now these instructions down here say to drop a pattern into the boundary. First select the boundary. So that's what we're going to do. You can see that it's green, but it's light green. I'm going to select it. It turns dark green. Now I'm going to click one of these patterns and it will morph into that block and you'll notice it morphs in and has 0.3 of a, a margin on each side around the outer edge of the pattern. It's a pretty neat tool. That's how it works. 